All right, welcome back everyone to another Grand Cross video. Now today, obviously, the final boss Eskinon has just dropped, and uh, this one is by far the hardest boss. Um, I would say a little bit easier in terms of like setup, I think, because as soon as you get a decent run, like you get the sun to start a match. I've had a lot of success. I have done it twice now, basically, and um, yeah, it worked both times basically. But um, I think there's some worse RNG parts, like the Dariari 10 boss trying to get a crit was horrible in the last ones. Uh, so I think this one's actually kind of fine, but. A little bit annoying because it is very difficult. And uh, I'm going to go through the strat to use. Uh, but let me just say, this is very well dependent. If your gear or like your actual uh, ultimate level, because they, they do matter in this boss, isn't up to par, then you are going to get a lower score. But you can still do it with the bare minimum, which is basically what I did. So I think a lot of you can probably relate to me right now. So if I show you my team and what I use. Basically, we just used um, the, the go-to team right now is actually this team here. Elizabeth Manascula. A, Demon Mediotis, and then uh, Ru Jude? Is it Jude? If he's in Jude, right? Yeah, Jude in the back because uh, he has this here where your uh, allies reflect 10% of damage taken. So it helps towards the actual uh, big nuke at the end, which you'll see later on. And uh, yeah, this is the team. Now, the, bear in mind, the boss is red. And since you are going to kill him by reflect, you want him to do as much damage as possible. So that does mean we want to obviously bring a green character. Now, there's two options you can bring. Firstly is Demon Hendrickson. If you have Demon Hendrickson with UR gear and also like a high ultimate level, then you can bring him. But um, I couldn't kill him, so I couldn't kill the first phase with his ultimate, so I'm not going to bring him. I tried doing green Demon Medios here, but the thing is, I don't have um, enough Super Awakening tokens or coins, so I can't really Super Awaken him. I think if I got him to at least Super Awaken 3, I could probably kill the boss. Or even, I think when I did use my ultimate one turn, he survived with 1 HP, so... 1-6 is the bare minimum. You can do if you get a lucky run. But I'm just saying it's it may be a little bit easier for you and a more consistent run if you do have more ultimate levels on the red one. And then also as well, you do more damage because you are type neutral. So I think if you want to do it, definitely try and do the red one first to get a decent score. And then if you're going to go into the RNG part of it, do bring the green one. So the reason why I bought the red one is because, well, I do have in 5-6. So... In that half, I was able to kill the boss uh, turn 3 and uh, will kill the Eskinor phase 1 on turn 3. And I was able to get that video out there because I want to get this video up quite early on. Even though it's only been quite a while. Okay, so the reason why the team works and I kind of go into a little bit of detail is because, well, I believe phase 1 you do die with um, the melee. So the Elizabeth Revive does save him there. And on the second phase you do die again, which would be the Undead ability where you're on 1 HP for like 3 turns. And then Eskinor ults you. And then because Eskinor has uh, this passive here where he does 600% more damage towards demons, he is going to do a lot of damage. I mean a lot of damage towards your demon melee Otis. But then because, well, we activate Elizabeth's actual ultimate, we get the Reflect ability and also reduce passive to well where we get an extra 10% reflect and then that just means we're able to reflect the damage he does towards my uh dim mediodis who doesn't die because well he's he's invincible for three turns and you reflect around i think i did 32 million i think or 3 million damage i'm not too sure but the thing is it all works as they say it does depend on your elizabeth ultimate because well the reflect does scale up the more uh, ultimate levels you have so it's 50% right now and if you have it to i believe 66 six, it is 120 or 100 percent so you're going to do a lot of damage and if basically if you want to get a high score just get elizabeth 66 six, which i know is hard to say but uh, it's just the truth right if you want to get a high score you can now like i say i did do a red team medios just to get that video out there and to show you that you can do it with him uh, i will try and do it later on with the green one uh when i do get some more super waking coins because i do need to do need to kill the boss phase one and uh, i just can't do i'm just missing that little bit of extra damage so I think when I do Super Awaken him, it will work quite well. And also as well, if he does crit you, you do get more damage. So is that RNG too? Uh, but overall, it's it it's just going to burn down the pots. Um, it, I think I used about 20 today. So uh, it goes to show how long it's going to take. And uh, yeah, I mean, there is more up to way to farm the boss because you have to get that 30k points, which is uh, horrible. But I mean, to be fair, you can farm extremely normal and just do it for like, a few hours and you're kind of good uh but yeah this is the run and hopefully this still help out and uh yeah just to show you that you can do with the red one uh but bear in mind it does depend on your ultimate level for elizabeth to get the highest score uh i do recommend bringing the green one but i know not everyone has the green d medias because he is a little bit limited because i think he was only on two banners and uh, they're both trash, so uh, not everyone has it. So most of us should have the red one. Don't use the blue one because, well, it's type disadvantaged. We have type advantage against Eskinor because he is red. And uh, yeah, you don't want to do that, right? So hopefully it worked out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to jump cut towards uh, the video now. Okay, we finally got a good start here. We get the sun turn one. Let's see what you can actually go for from now on. Uh, we got a, kind of a decent start, I think. The only problem is, is getting Elizabeth card next turn. 
Because I need to get her ult too. I tried it before. Well, I didn't actually. Uh, I went to the next phase because the first time I went to the next phase with this team. And uh, yeah, I have to get my ult first. And the two shields too. Oh. I think it's it. Boom. Boom. I need to keep it for the infect later on. Actually, to see if I can use it. Okay, I'll use it for damage. And emerge these two, I think. Alright, boys, this might be the run. I think. Okay. We inhale. Can we survive it? We shouldn't die here either. Nice, okay. We have two shields as well. So I do. Actually, do I use Elizabeth for cards? Boom. It doesn't matter too much, to be fair. Okay, so when I did test it a, well, a couple uh, tries ago now, we did get the all off, but I didn't have Elizabeth ult, so I would actually would have got a pretty good run here. I don't know, I'm thinking of it. Maybe I should have brought Green there. Because we did a lot of damage. I think Green would have killed anyway. And this last time I tried, my Green character didn't kill. I mean, I'll do this now and upload it, but you can switch between two. I guess if I showcase it with the red one, then it's probably better because, well, it shows you that you can do it. I, th I think... <laughs> I think I... Oh, boys. I think I definitely can do the green one. I, I just... When I owe it, he had, like, one HP left. So, a little bit of RNG. Okay, that is a... Uh, that's a stun. Okay, no, we're fine, I think. Because uh, right now, even if it's a tier 1, it's fine. Because, well, it's going to be the first skill he uses. So, it's, it's not going to break the shield. I mean, we can save tier 2 for next turn, I think. And then, uh, you know what? I think... Um... Ah, it doesn't matter what we use, I think. We just want to just use cards. Go and make sure he just doesn't drain us. But I think we're actually in a good position. If he can ult here, then I think we've done it. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous right now. I've been trying to go for like... I've tried this for like an, an hour and a half now. Okay, shouldn't break the shield. Okay, it's a tier 1. Um, how does he kill me? I forget. Oh, that, right? Oh, he didn't get the ultimate. Okay, you can't drain, though, right? Okay, he's a little bit annoying. He didn't get this. Okay, this is kind of bad, not gonna lie. Yeah, he didn't get his ult here. Actually, he's gonna get his next turn. Actually, wait, no, I think we're fine. I think. I don't know. I, do, I, I just don't know how this boss works. I think next turn he used that little slam card and he, he just breaks my shield. Because he somehow got to kill me, right? I forget how he kills me. Okay, we got a shield anyway. And I think my Malasco just survives? Well, I'm not too sure. Yeah, this skill here. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's how, that's how we survived then. Okay, my Elizabeth is 2-6. This, do we survive it here? Okay, I'm not going to obviously put a shield up because I wanted to crit me here if he can crit. And then uh, I'll use this skill to, to get uh, some extra points. Okay, let's see if it works. Please, <laughs> please tie on my Medio this. Uh, the first time he did it, but I didn't have Reflect on, so it didn't work. Would we even kill? It's only 2-6. But he does that much damage. Oh, we did it. Oh. 13 million? Oh, we did it! <laughs> it works with 2 6. How much points is that, though? 4.2? I don't think that's too bad. And that was a red character. If I bought the green one, I'll try and do it later on with green, but I think, to sh I think it's a good thing to showcase it because the green one's definitely rarer. I mean, 6%. I, I, I think that's, that's the. F oh my god, trying to do this is going to be horrible, by the way. I think that's fine. I think that's fine to be fair. I, I do think it's fine. Because uh, I'm only aiming for top 15. I can get a little bit higher as well. If, uh, if I do use the green one. You can see everyone's using the green one here. But the green one is limited. Or like rarer. I guess. Because uh, it's a part of the, 
the new the new year banner which by the way they removed from the actual character in the pull rate for a Somali, so big f if you did something for him uh and then yeah i guess um, that's not too bad i will try to do it later on but we did do it the first time there the reason i tried with my red one is because i do have him five six so when i over turn what was it uh phase one i was able to kill him because i had some trouble at least trying to kill with uh the green one so maybe in a few days time um whenever i can uh, if i get some more super awakened coins i can super awaken my green one and get more points but i mean at least you can do it with the red one which i'm sure all of us have um alaska is in the coin shop which i've never already said too and then uh elizabeth is two six and uh, he does way enough damage, more than enough damage anyway. So I think one six should be enough. But obviously you're not going to get as much points. Uh, I'm not sure if this is more optimal. I think if you if you bought their rarity, then maybe it's better. But I mean, we'll see. This is the best team to use right now, or at least the the green Mediolus. This is the strat to use, and it did take some time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and peace. <laughs>